There are three commonly used n square algorithms for sorting. You already know and should have implemented the bubble sort algorithm. In this chapter, we will learn two more sorting algorithms which take n square time. The first one is the selection sort and the other is called insertion sort. So let's start by understanding what the selection sort algorithm is. Let's consider the cue balls in a bin again. We have an empty bin which we can make use of. And again, we can use a cue stick to keep track of item or items if we want to. In the selection sort algorithm, what we do is that we search for the smallest element and swap it with the item in the first bin, which is the leftmost bin. So the first element becomes sorted because that contains the ball with the smallest number. So this was iteration one. In the next iteration, we do exactly the same thing with the remaining array. That is starting from the second position, we search for the cue ball with the smallest number out of the remaining ones. And when we find that, we swap it with the ball in the second bin. So now the ball with the next smallest number is in the second bin. So the first two bins are sorted. And we keep repeating this process. until all the balls are sorted. So it is called the selection sort algorithm because every time we select the smallest number and then swap it with the item in the relevant bin. So if we have an array of numbers, we go through all the elements to find the minimum and then exchange it with the first array element. So that this is how the array looks like with the first element as sorted. Then from the remaining elements that is starting from the second array element, we find the minimum and then exchange it with the second element of the array. So now the first two elements are sorted and we keep doing this until the whole array is sorted. 